anyway, you go to this training, it's like a boot camp, and then you become certified as an early childhood movement specialist. Then you come back and you bring it to your community. And what kinder dance is, is it's creative movement, it's gymnastics, it's dance, it's ballet. Uh, we also do educational concepts like letters, numbers, um, vocabulary words, colors, shapes. So all of that is reinforced. And what is, we go into the daycares or the schools so that the kids get it while they're at school or during their daycare day. So the parents don't have to worry about it afterwards. Five programs, I'm certified in four of those. Um, the Kinder Dance, which has the dance, the ballet, and the tap in it. And then we have Kinder Tots, which is just for two-year-olds. Developmentally, they really should be in a group by themselves, not put with the three to five-year-olds. So we have a little group with them. And actually with that group, we, we do some of the dance, just a little bit of the dance, but we also do a lot with their gross motor skills, communication, learning how to wait their turn, all that kind of stuff that they need, that social stuff. Three to five-year-olds we put into kinder dance, and we also have kinder motion. And kinder motion goes from, we have a three to five um, age group, and then a six to nine, and then there's also one that goes from nine to 12. But what it does is it's fitness and balance and strength and flexibility and that kind of thing, but there's also, um, what I like about it is they have a nutritional, um, where you teach nutrition. So being a teacher, what I liked about it is that there's always um, something academic, academically that they're learning. So even the nutrition part, they get to learn a lot about how the body works, how it uses food, that kind of stuff. So it's all, but it's all developmentally appropriate. Like all of our props and things like that would be, for instance, um, in the kinder motion, if you were using to show them what, how the body works, you would use a totally different visual for a three to five year old than you would for a 12 year old. Because I don't know about you, but when I was three to five, seeing that skeleton with all those little <laughs> muscles on it was kind of scary. <laughs> so that's one of the things I really liked about it. So those are, the, there's also kinder gym, which is basic gymnastics. And I'm certified in that one as well. The kinder combo is the one I'm not certified in. And the reason why is because that's um, kind of a building block. So after you've done it for a year or two, then you would add that to your that interest in dance. You know, spark, to let them see that they can do something they thought they couldn't do. Fitness, and it's the perfect combination. Because you've got kids moving, they get to use their imagination because we use imagery a lot. So we go on little jungle safaris and you're still moving and they learn all these little movements that they wouldn't ordinarily be doing. We do crab walks and we do robot walks and all these different things that get them to get, it's coordination is what they're learning and balance and, and things that they wouldn't ordinarily get in a regular dance kind of class. I finished my 14th year. I've taught every grade except for first and fourth. I've taught every other grade from pre-K to 12th grade. I teach at Coweta and I teach high school uh, junior English, and I teach creative writing for grades 10 through 12. I love teaching and I love my kids. This is just another way of hanging out with kids. Eventually I would like for it to be what I do. This would be like what I would want to do. And I would like to actually be able to maybe, in, because I know in kinder dance, in fact, I called and asked them this, in kinder dance it only goes as, you know, from ages two to 12. I would like to come up with a program for even the older kids that would be outside of kinder dance, but it would also be, because I really think with the problem with obesity in America, especially childhood obesity, if we could just get the kids to see it's okay, it doesn't matter what you look like, if you can just get up and move. That's the important thing is to get up and move every day. And some of them will not do it unless they have someone cheering them on, that kind of. Over the last two years, I've lost 82 pounds, and that was just from getting up and moving, walking, 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 and just moving. And I know some of my girls, especially my girls that I teach, the girls I teach, were say, well, what are you doing? And I would tell them, and then they would say, well, can I go walk with you? Or how, how much do you walk? You know, what should I do? Like, how many hours should I walk? And, <laughs> you know, that, I really and truly, that I feel like is, has been my calling for a long time. Because I, I'm, I, I feel like I'm a natural teacher. I've always been comfortable doing that, whatever I'm teaching. If I, if I know my subject, I feel like I can do it. Um, and fitness has really been something. It goes back to, a, uh, my brother was, was obese, and that's what killed him. He actually died from 
uh, complications of diabetes. Watching him go through that is just like, I think back to, gosh, when he was a teenager, if someone had just, like now everyone's on board with childhood obesity, the schools, everyone wants to help. But I always think back, you know, if we had done that when he was a teenager, if he had had someone who would have stepped in and said, hey, you know, we need to do this, this, and this, I'll help you, maybe things would have turned out differently. And I see kids like that now in the schools, you know, that I know they just don't have anyone to kind of, you know, push them along. But see, if we start when they're little like this, when they're young like this, that's, it's not a big deal to go out and, and move and do something. And if they can find something they really like, like a lot of these kids will probably get them into dance or it'll get them interested in gymnastics or it'll get them interested in fitness and they'll carry that on through. Um, I actually am going to have a summer camp uh, at Bixby Community Center in July where I'm going to offer kinder tots, um, kinder motion and kinder dance. So there'll be one week of kinder tots, one week of kinder motion and one week of kinder dance. And so they can call me or they can go by the community center and there's flyers there.